Hello, my name is Karina, and today I'm going to share with you three random recipes. The first recipe is a flavored butter that we put on corn on the cob. I got this recipe through Sandra Lee of Semi Homemade, and we have made it quite a few times and it is good every single time. Let me show you how to make this flavored butter for corn on the cob. For this recipe you are going to need corn on the cob, a fourth cup of butter softened, half a tablespoon of garlic powder and a half a tablespoon of basil. You're going to take some aluminum foil. You're going to put one of the corns on the aluminum foil. You need a pastry brush and you are going to spread this butter mixture all over each of the corns. The next recipe, I am going to show you how to make cherry limeade. Now, I have really enjoyed cherry limeade through Sonic and McDonald's has it too. Well, the other day we were driving down the road and I noticed a sign had said, you know, the cherry limeade is $1.50 at McDonald's and it got me thinking I should be able to make that homemade for a lot cheaper for a glass of it than to just get one helping for $1.50. So that got me looking online and I come across a blog and a girl shared a recipe about how to make cherry limeade. Let me show you how we make cherry limeade. You're going to need a two liter of Sprite. You're going to need one 12 ounce frozen limeade from Concentrate. in a small jar of Marcino cherries. Stir lightly so you do not flatten the Sprite. For the final recipe, we have discovered a really good homemade salsa. Now, down here in our part of Texas, we are having a really hard time finding a good salsa that is inexpensive a lot of the sauces seem to be around you know four and five dollars for a little jar of salsa well my husband was talking to a co-worker and he shared a recipe that he got at a local Mexican restaurant for salsa so Jason went ahead and grabbed all the ingredients to make the salsa we tried it out and oh man this is like the only salsa we want we will probably not be buying salsa anymore unless we have to for a certain recipe or something but we are going to continue making this salsa you are definitely going to want to add this to your recipes let me show you how we make it for this recipe you are going to need one 28 ounce can of whole peeled tomatoes plum if available, four cloves of garlic, salt to taste, one to two serrano peppers. We use one and we take the seeds out of it, but if you like heat, you can leave the seeds in. And a small handful of cilantro, and you are also going to need a blender to blend this together. You are going to take the serrano pepper and you are going to boil it until it is soft. You need to drain the tomatoes. You're going to add the tomatoes to the blender. Then you're going to add the peppers. We're going to add the bunch of cilantro, garlic, and then salt to taste. Make sure you add the top to your blender and you're going to blend this mixture until it is smooth. Okay, 
and then you are going to dump it into a bowl. And that's it. That's how easy this salsa is. And man, is it good. All of these recipes are linked below, so make sure you grab a hold of them and add them to your recipes. Every one of these recipes are unique, but they are great for entertaining in your home or taking them to parties. I hope you enjoy these recipes as much as me and my family do, and have a wonderful day, and I will see you soon.